hypertension and kidney disease is the classic chicken and egg scenario which came first and this is exactly what it is with hypertension and kidney disease because hypertension can lead to kidney disease and kidney disease can lead to hypertension. My name is Dr. Ravi Andrews and I'm a nephrologist and I've been practicing at Apollo hospitals for the last 20 years. Hypertension and kidney disease are very closely interlinked and if you don't control your blood pressure there is a very high chance that your kidneys will get into trouble and you might develop kidney failure. It is crucial to control your blood pressure whether you have kidney disease or not but if you have kidney disease it's even more important to make sure your blood pressure is under good control. Blood pressure or hypertension or high blood pressure is defined when your blood pressure is more than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury and hypertension is the second most common cause of kidney disease all over the world. You need to control your blood pressure and to remember that an easy way to remember is remember the three D's. You need to control your diet, you need to modify your daily lifestyle and you need to take some kind of drugs or medications. Let's look at diet first. All over the world the recommended diet to control blood pressure is something called the DASH diet. DASH stands for Dietary Approach to Stop Hypertension. DASH diet includes reduction of salt, less than 6 grams of salt per day, plenty of fluids, reduce red meat, have more fruits and vegetables, avoid smoking, reduce alcohol and reduce the stresses in your life. The lifestyle modifications that you can make, make sure you exercise regularly, obviously have enough sleep and rest and try and reduce the stress in your life. This is along with the dietary changes that you are making. Now when we talk about exercise, I am going to dwell a little bit about this. The basic bare minimum exercise that's recommended is 150 minutes, at least 150 minutes of moderate activity per week. So if you divide that by 5, you can do 30 minutes per day and the operative word here is at least. So if you can do more than 30 minutes per day, please go ahead and do it. Your body will tell you when to stop. So at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise. By moderate exercise, we mean that you should not be able to hold a conversation with somebody else while you're doing the exercise. So if you're on the treadmill and you're talking on the phone or you're on the treadmill and you're chatting with the person next to you, it's not moderate exercise, that's light exercise. So you have to ensure that you're totally focused on your exercise and you should be breathing fast enough not to hold a conversation with somebody else and that is true moderate exercise. So I'll just revamp it again. At least 30 minutes per day of moderate exercise are the good lifestyle changes that you will require to keep your blood pressure under control. And medications, please do not self-medicate. Let your physician or your nephrologist help you and guide you with the treatment. And this could also help you keep your blood pressure under control. So let's look at the three D's again. Diet control or diet modifications, modifications in your daily lifestyle and modifications in your drugs. So all of you, please take care of your kidneys by controlling your blood pressure. Otherwise, we might have to take care of them for you. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day.